guys, Dark Death 5000 here, bringing you another War the Controls video. Specifically, I'm focusing on the PlayStation 4 using the DualShock 4 controller here. For those of you that have been following my previous videos, this is basically an improvement over previous controls and reflects what I'm using currently in the game. So, before I start going through the actual controls, I just want to briefly go over what I use and how I play the game. So. I don't just use the, the joystick to move the cursor like this, which is what your average player will do. Um, in addition to this, I use match, max pitch and roll buttons on the right, so that I can control the play manually. I have X, square, circle and triangle set up for this. So, a lot of you might be wondering why I would want to control the play manually. So I'm just going to show you this right here. So, here I'm using max pitch to turn. You can see it's fairly fast. Um, if I switch over to mouse aim, it's slowed down a little bit. So that's the main advantage and the reason why. Um, an added benefit of using the max pitch is while you're holding max pitch, you can actually look around with the mouse cursor and the plane don't follow it. So I can roll here at the same time and the plane is still not following. This means you can just be a little more situational aware. You can check your six, um, do evasive maneuvers, whatever you need to do. This is actually how I, how I defensive fly. Another way of doing this is I have L1 set up for the mouse camera, so if I hold this down, I can then look around with the left stick, which controls the mouse camera. And again, using the same max pitch and roll buttons, I can control the play at the same time. And of course, when you want to go back to normal, normal view, just release and you've got the mouse name again. So that's pretty much a quick overview of my controls and specifically how I play the game. So I'm going to go through the settings now. So to begin with I'm obviously in mouse aim. Um, I have the small caliber on R2 plus X, which it doesn't actually mean R2 plus X, it's, it's like a two stage trigger, so half press is your machine guns, full press is going to be large and additional. Um, in addition, I have large caliber set to R1, same with additional guns. So, what I tend to do is I half press R2 for the machine guns, and I press R1 for the cannons. Um, you also have your machine guns and cannons axis here. That's the two stage trigger what I was talking about. Um, drop bombs L1 plus D pad down. Fire rocket is just L1 and R1 together, so press both. Uh, your reload guns is L1 plus left. And throttle axis is on the right stick up and down. I've also got a rather high dead zone here, so it's actually maxed out. Um, this is so I don't accidentally change the throttle when I'm using the yaw. I've also got it set to relative control. And of course I've got whole throttle of war emergency power set to no. That basically means when I push up on the stick, it's going to stay in, in the more emergency power. Now the main thing, roll axis. Um, there's no axis assigned, but I have max and min values set. So basically circle rolls right and square rolls left. 
Uh, because we've got max values, the, the dead zone, non-linearity, and multiplayer, etc. That none of that actually matters. So all that matters is that you've got circle and square in here, and the axis removed. Same with the pitch axis, um, no axis set up, and the max value is X to pitch up, and the min value is triangle to pitch down. For the your axis, um, I have this on the right stick left right. By the way, when you're adding these, um, it asks you to replace or add. Always, always use add because if you press replace, it could remove something. For the flaps, um, I have D-pad right to bring the flaps down, D-pad left to bring the flaps up again. There's also the air brake on D-pad left, and we have toggle gear on D-pad up. Um, toggle view, that's just L1 plus up. Tracking camera, I've not touched that all, it's still L2. So you've still got your tracking on the PlayStation 4, which automatically moves the cursor to the target. Now the control axis, this is the x-axis, is just left stick, left right. Uh, bearing this, this is bear in mind this is your mouse aim. I also have a non-linearity set there of 1.4. Same with the y-axis, only it's left stick up down. And again, non-linearity 1.4. Aim control sensitivity, this is actually the sensitivity of your left stick, the mouse aim. So I've got this rather high at 75%. Uh, the reason for this is so I can pan the camera around faster. Um, aim sensitivity, that's actually related to the touchpad, so it doesn't matter all too much, but I've got it set there at 25%. And mouse smoothing is on. Uh, now gamepad acceleration, this is a fairly new thing they've added. From what I can gather through testing it, it's basically an advanced form of non-linearity. It, it kind of dampens um, the sensor of your stick, so the value you've got here, 25%, that's 25% from the sensor of your stick, so it slows it down. And then as you reach uh, the outer binding, so 25% plus, that's the actual acceleration, so that is sped up. Um, use joystick in this mode is obviously ticks because we're using mouse aim on the left stick. Um, tank control. There's nothing really in there to be honest. Um, I have messed around a little bit with the setup, but I've not played tanks too much. So uh, I'll leave that to you guys to decide. I might do a separate video again, specifically on tank controls. Um, probably one thing you do want to watch out for in tank controls is um, the event selection button because it can actually mess with your playing controls. Um, shit. Oh there, yeah event selection menu so I believe it's R1 by default something like that. So just make sure you either remove that or set it to something else. I have it set to D-pad right here. Alright, so moving on to common controls. Um, the map is L1 plus D-pad right. Statistics just left at the default. Um, so let's press the touchpad in. Uh, lock target, I've changed this to 
left stick pressed in. Zoom camera is the right stick pressed in. Um, and obviously we have mouse camera, so mouse look activation is L1, you just hold that down in combination with the left stick to look around. Um, I should also mention, because we're using mouse camera, if I just go back to aircraft control, um, under camera control, I've actually removed the viewing battle axis, so that's gone completely. Uh, you really don't need it because I'm using mouse camera. So back to common control, and um, we're up to mouse look activation. Uh, obviously because I've got target selects now on the left stick pressed in, um, I've had to change the radio messages to d-pad down. We're using the gamepad for radio messages, so leave that to enabled. And I believe that's it. Sensitivity and zoom 100% I've got there. Yeah, that's pretty much it. Um, I really recommend this setup, like I said earlier. It allows you to turn faster. Um, especially for checking your 6, which is one of the main problems we face on PlayStation 4. So yeah, give give it a try. Um, let me know what you think in the comments. And that's that's it. Thanks for watching.